Readwise is awesome to integrate into your personal knowledge management system. I use it to resurface my highlights from everything every day. Um, it's awesome. But Readwise Reader is a game changer. It's something new. And I got rid of some other apps when I started using Readwise Reader. I'm going to go through that a little bit in this video to inspire you. And also, you can get two free months by using my link in the show notes just for trying Readwise, but be sure and use my links. Okay, one big thing I like about Readwise is spaced repetition and active recall. You can turn your highlights into quizzes, okay? So let's check it out. I already did my, my daily review today, but you get an email. I don't need the email, but you can set the email frequency if you want. You can set how many cards you review frequency if you want. But let's say I want to review some more notes here. Okay, this is a book I've been reading recent, recently, and this is a highlight. But let's say that I wanted to know when um, Catherine Coleman died. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to I'm going to make this a flashcard, right? So I'm going to make a question and answer. Uh, when did Catherine Coleman die? And then I'm going to use the highlight as the answer. There you go. Okay, so there it is. When did Catherine Coleman die? Show the answer. And here it is. That I've just made a flashcard, and I can review it later someday. This is kind of like Anki, right? So, and then also, this is just, just some highlights I've taken over the years. Um, so you go through, I'm going through five a day currently, but you can go through many more. If you don't like the card, you can get rid of it. If you want to master it, I just showed you how to make an Anki-like card with closed deletion. You can favorite it so you know what your favorites are. You can also tag it, right? And you can edit it or you can share this. Let's say you want to share it. This is so cool. It makes it into this cool little graphic, man and you can share it. Readwise is awesome. You can take notes from anything on the web. You can use this extension up here on the right. I'm going to talk about this quite a bit. And you can use your phone, the share feature on your phone. You can import highlights from many, many sources. Instapaper, Supplement and Books, Apple, Apple Books, Kindle, Pocket, Twitter, Medium. The list goes on. I used to use Hypothesis for uh, taking notes on the internet. And Digo, <laughs> I don't do that anymore because I use Readwise Reader. I'm going to talk about that a lot uh, later. And then there's Air Raindrop. I mean, you're going to end up, um, you're not even going to need Raindrop anymore. <laughs> you're not going to need Digo or Hypothesis because it's all going to be replaced with Readwise Reader. I'll talk about that in a minute. But you can also import your notes from Goodreads, Libby, Snipped. Yes, Snipped uses AI to import text um, from the podcast and you get text notes right there from snipped it's awesome it's on android uh feedly kobo moon reader i mean wow this is awesome and then apple books and also you can uh you can import from scribd i'm i use scribd all the time google play books so this is really awesome you can take notes from pretty much anything on the internet and i'm going to show you about youtube videos that will blow your mind this will blow your mind I am big on personal knowledge management, and you guys probably are too if you came to this video, but you can export all of your highlights to your favorite PKM, man. Obsidian, Notion, if you use Evernote, LogSeq, Roam, it uses, it syncs with Roam. You can export to Roam. Reflect, RimNote, if you use RimNote, Mailbrew, Heptabase, and you can also just export it all as Markdown, that's in beta right now, or just CSV. Uh, I suppose you could probably use that with Anki if you want to. So here's the exciting thing. Readwise has now come out with Readwise Reader. It's replaced some of my other tools in my personal knowledge management arsenal. It rocks, man. It's like an all-in-one stop shop. Now, this is the reason I made the video. This extension here, which is on Chrome, and also you can share to on your phone. But check it out. This is my inbox. I've got it clean. But here's all the stuff I have in my later that I'm going to read and take notes on. And here's my archive, right? So let's say that uh, I want to watch a YouTube video. And for those of you that are into personal knowledge management, you probably know Ollie. And I'm going to uh, share this to Readwise. Check it out, man. I'm sharing it to Readwise. Look at it. It's doing some work right there. It's, it's getting me all excited because now I can open it in Reader. Now, you can auto highlight if you're a little bit lazy. You can start tagging right here. Whatever tags you want to use, take notes. You can move it straight to your later archive or you can even delete it. But let's say I want to open it in Reader right now. Dude, this is the cool part. It does the transcription down here, man. 
All right, it's got the transcription. You can highlight this stuff down here if you want, right? Uh, you can even tag each highlight if you want. Now check this out. I'm gonna play the video, just a couple of sentences here. All right, problems that I face in my life is information overwhelm. I read all these books, listen to all these podcasts, watch all these YouTube videos and consume all this stuff, but I end up like information overloaded. Does that not rock? Are you gonna tell me that doesn't rock? You can now highlight, read the transcript. It syncs along. I mean, it scrolls while you're uh, watching the video. I'm so excited and that's the reason I'm making this video. It does many other things too. You're gonna get rid of a lot of your current tools because this is awesome. Okay, and here's the other really cool reason I wanted to make this video. Let's say that, uh, here's a summary from Ali, right? But let's say that I want to, uh, too long didn't read, I can do more actions here and uh, I can invoke Ghost Reader. I can ask the document a question. I can summarize the document. I can generate thought-provoking questions. I can generate question and answer pairs based on my highlights. Amen, that's awesome. So let's say I wanna summarize the document. Uh, you see this ghost, he's jumping up right now, he's doing some work, he's working on summarizing this video. And there it is. This article talks about the concept of building a second brain. So he's gonna summarize it, so if you don't have time to listen to the whole thing, it'll summarize it in a matter of seconds. And that works with any article, any, it works with YouTube videos, any article. So now I'm back at Readwise Reader. This is the home page. I'm not really sure how they organize it because I don't spend my time here. But you can go to your library. In your library, I like keeping my inbox clean. It's kind of like your email. This is the stuff that I highlight on the fly and I just leave it in my inbox. If I don't do anything, it goes to the inbox. I have to decide to put something into later. And we just watched this. You remember you saw me put it into later. And when I'm through with something, like say I'm through tagging it um, and all that and taking my notes, I put it into the archive, which is completely searchable. Um, there's the, the archive. And now let's go to the RSS feeds. These are feeds from, these are not in your library. You have not decided to put these in your library yet. These are just things like from your feeds that you're interested in and you can move it to the inbox, or you can later or archive it, or you can delete it from your, from your feed. And these are seen and unseen, right? So it somehow keeps track of that. And uh, yeah, so you decide what goes into your library. You can search everything. You can read articles, uh, books, of course, like I talked about. It, it'll uh, import books, I guess. I've never used that feature. I basically use the highlights from my books on Kindle or Scribd or Google Play Books. Also, you can annotate PDFs, uh, tweets, videos. We talked about that. Now, I have no videos in my inbox, but you did see me put them in my later, right? And these are this is my short list. If you want to have a short list, you can put it in there. Uh, then you can manage your views and your tags. Uh, you can manage your tags, you can manage your feeds, you can do everything here. And one of the things I'm excited about, when I combine Readwise Reader with Readwise, I did get rid of a few tools, and I'm pretty sure you will too. And hey, you know, this, this is not only awesome, it's a money saver when you look at it from that perspective. All right, so I wanted to show you what it looked like on my Android phone. This is my home page, right? Quick reads, new and feed, and long reads, all that. Let's say I want to go to my library and I'm on my later page and I want to know how institutionalism quenches the Holy Spirit's gifts. And here I am, I'm on the page, but you're going to notice on the top right, that listen button. Check out what this does. The Southern Baptist Convention recently expelled Saddleback Church in Southern California because of a woman on their staff who carries title of teaching pastor. According to Baptist Press, Saddleback was declared to not be in friendly cooperation with the necessary credentials under the Southern... Okay, now, that's cool. Do you see how it highlights the exact word that it's on? You can also do your own highlights here by pressing that. It, it can auto-highlight if you want. I find that feature a little bit troubling, but I want to actually highlight like that. You can also tag it from here, make comments, and so forth. Now, down here at the lower right, you'll see that it has a speed... I mean, you can, I, I listen to things like at two times speed, but you can listen up to three times speed, man. Probably even faster. Now let's say that I want to go out to my homepage. You can still play. In Baptist Convention. This is an example. You see how you can still play it even though you're reading something else? So Readwise, which is now integrated Readwise Reader, it rocks, man. It's a complete game changer. I've been using it for a few months. And I use it pretty much all day, every day, man. So be sure to check it out.
Use my link in the show notes and you get two free months for trying it out.